A former U.S. hostage in Iran says it's important to remember history. Now he's sharing his personal dealings with terrorists at a local event this weekend. SNN Local News 6 reporter Grant Boxleitner sat down with him today and has the story. And they treated us all like we were the nest of spies, which is what they called the embassy. It's been 31 years since American Cortland Barnes was released with other hostages in Iran, held for 444 days by student militants in a crisis that gripped our nation. They say um, that, they, that we were the first um, victims of state-sponsored terrorism. Barnes is in Sarasota County to share his story this weekend in Nokomis. It's more or less a living history to give my perspective on, on what I experienced. What he experienced by most accounts was a year's worth of uncertainty, fear, and oppression. The retired CIA technical operations officer remembers his hands and feet being tied up, at times handcuffed and blindfolded after this conversation he had with his captors. At one point I said, um, you know, you did what the Ayatollah wanted you to do and we did what Jimmy Carter wanted us to do. There's no papers here for you to read anymore. Despite CIA claims to the contrary, Barnes and a handful of other hostages still believe Iran President Ahmadinejad was one of their captors. We asked him what he thinks about Ahmadinejad and Iran's nuclear threat now. I think that right now Ahmadinejad is under fire from his own, the Majlis, which is their Congress, um, for some of his actions and being very, um, uh, I don't know how to say it, but but f giving out favors for, for people that are his friends. Ever since this ordeal, Barnes still keeps something in his wallet with him at all times. It's a lifetime pass to all major league games, something that he treasures to this day. Today, Barnes and other former hostages are still trying to pursue an international lawsuit against Iran for what they had to endure three decades ago. I think that the Iranians owe us compensation for their irresponsibility. I don't think the American people should pay us anything. Mike Moultrie organized the event and invited Barnes to speak about his harrowing ordeal. I'm trying to capture the young people's imagination and let them understand what the history was about. But since then, it, it's still a historical event and people have forgotten that. There's a lot of the of our captors that are alive today that still feel the same today as they did back in 1979 and 78. They still hate us. Reporting in Venice, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News 6. Barnes will speak at the Venice Nokomis Elks Lodge at 7 Friday night. Tickets are $10 on a first-come, first-served basis.